we are somewhere at a very secret location north of Toronto, Ontario with York United boss Martin Nash. Just tell me kind of what it is like for you guys coming into the season with maybe some more stability and certainty that I think a lot of people would know wasn't maybe here last year at this point. Uh, but there's got to be a little bit more positivity around the club. Absolutely, you know, it's, it's great to have uh, ownership in place and, and behind us. You know, they're, they're very uh, visible, they're, they're training a lot and um, around the club. So it's great to have, great to know you have people have your backs and, and you know, it, it, the club's got a feeling of a club again. That team you did have last year, uh, you got a lot out of them still. You know, making the playoffs, going on a, a pretty good run towards the end there. Um, Tell me about what you kind of took away from that season, what you kind of remember about that year. And I know obviously there's a lot of turnover in the squad, but there's gotta be you know, some things that you do take from that experience. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you gotta look at uh, every season, you gotta look back and, and see what went well and what didn't. You know, we, had to, we went through a lot as a group last year and uh, there was a lot of hard times, but there were some good times too. And you know, and it's how do we get out of the dips? Uh, when we had those dips was, was big key. And, you know, in the end, I think we were able to battle back, keep them focused on, you know, getting into the playoffs, and we were able to do that and performed well, to be fair, in the playoff game, just uh, yeah. weren't able to get a win. I, I mentioned the turnover, but what building blocks do you feel are still in place from, from that team last year? Because there are returning players, there are senior players. Yeah, I think we were like, able to keep a good enough core um, that, you know, know how, how it's been here and to help the other guys assimilate and, and grow. and. Um, we kept some very important pieces that we could build around and we felt we built, built a, a good squad around them and added some uh, very important players. Uh, let's hear a little bit about some of those new players that are coming in. I know there's some that are more familiar faces to Canadian soccer fans. I'm thinking like Frank and, and Juan Cordova who you know, we've seen with the national team but there's a lot of players that people might not know. So who is kind of impressing you early on in training and, and who is kind of guys that you think you might be able to lean on it. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, as well though, Leon, the, the center back's come in, he's done really well. Um, I, I think he's going to be a big part of the group going forward. Um, you know, uh, the two young Mexican players, uh, Orlando and uh, Josue, are, are both very good players, very capable. Look like they'll be uh, exciting talents. You know, they're young and going to have to grow a little bit, but, uh, you know, they, they've got good upside. So, you know, players like that are, you know, I think going to be exciting to watch and, and, and exciting to watch them grow. Uh, Marky, he's almost getting a new player back because he missed uh, almost six months of the season. Uh, he's looking sharp. He, he's growing as a, as a player and uh, uh, growing a little bit as an individual. So um, it's good. I'm expecting, uh, you know, big things from him this year. So, you know, there, we've added some good pieces and, and uh, you know, Dennis um, Salonovic, who's got some obviously uh, quality and experience. So we, we've we feel we've done a good job of, uh, you know, building around the core we have, and we're quite happy with where we're at. I guess to, to wrap it up, obviously this is a club that made the playoffs last year, is looking to, I guess, push that bar forward, move forward. What is the ambition level of, of this group and this team, and, and where you want to be at the end of 2024? I, I mean, at the start of every season, I, I you know, I, you know, I'm ambitious and want to win. You know, I want to win, win the whole thing. And, uh, you know, I don't think the, the gap between the bottom and the top is all that far. Um, you know, we were four points off second. Calvary kind of run away with it. We were four points off second last year with, with everything that went on. I thought it was a, it was a very good feat, but um, I think we can do better this year. And uh, the goal is to get more points, to, to try to hang in there and see if we can challenge for the title at the end. Year six for York United, year three under Martin Nash, beginning April 13th in Ottawa.